When I'm toothing, I like to fish a pre-measured amount of lead core line. In this case, we've got about 125 feet. And a lot of lead core lines, you know, they, they have, you know, the color system. I just like a short piece, and then I go straight into the braid backing. And uh, that allows for uh, easy dropping on fish to go over a fish in deeper water. We have a long 40 pound test plural leader tied direct to the tube. We have a ball bearing swivel on the tube, so that allows um, for free spinning and you won't get any line twist. And we're just gonna bump in and out of gear. And um, you know, we, uh, we're trolling with the current and uh, with the tubes, you know, the whole name of the game is slow as it goes and, you know, close to the bottom. So with this 40 pound test braid, it's bumping in and out of gear. I know for a fact we're real tight to the bottom. I'm just going to take the boat out of gear. And with that 40 pound test braid, I'm just going to drop the tube on top of the fish now where the weight is distributed all the way across the first half of the tube, it has a uniform sink. So it has a very natural presentation. We find with these SI tubes, you get a lot of hits on the drop. Sort of a tough hook set. Now, I'm just gonna hold this rod. Now, one of the uh, greatest tests of willpower or self-discipline is to troll these tubes, if you're holding the rod, is to not set the hook. If you get a hit, and they hit the uh, tube on the head. What happens is when you're trolling, the striper actually slides down the tube and hangs on your, your stinger hook. And if you set the hook during that process, you can pull the, the tube right out of their mouth. And uh, so see how I have a brace here on my torso? And it's a nice steady grip on the rod. And if a fish hits it, I'm just gonna hold it tight and wait till line comes off the reel. Once you start getting drag, you know, you're you're good to go. One of the reasons why I like holding the rod is, you know, especially if I'm fishing by myself, if I do end up taking the boat out of gear to drop back on a large fish or a pile of fish, you know, I'm, I'm able to drop back and you know, I'm, I have total, total movement with the uh, outfit. The upside to fishing in tube and worm is they are just, oh, we got a hit on the other rod. Striper. Nice little chunky striper. And that's a nice fish.